Okay, so let's take a look at using the CF div tag to create these little buttons that send values back and forth to the database. Um, first, you know, years of, of internet programming, we used check boxes, we checked all the boxes, we passed them in a string to the database or an action page would do a, what we want. Now we can take each one of those values individually and update the database in real time without having to completely send a string to the database, take that string apart, etc. Let's take a, a quick look at just the layout that I had in front of you, uh, just so that you don't confuse the CFM with the HTML. I have uh, one table set up and it has one row in it and this table is broken down into three cells uh, each one of those cells is 33 and a third percent wide so they're each individually they're even and then within those cells I have another table and I use the table to control uh, the alignment of these two functions so in this table I have my rows set up for the number of rows that I need of course and then another column and inside that column is the cell where the CF div will reside pushing and pulling the values to the database so here's my HTML slash CFM setup you see I've got uh, the table up top with the three cells you see on line 24 there it's got the 33 and a percent and then within those cells I've got the table set up and you'll see contract agreement right there that was the first row and then the CF div tag notice each one of my div tags has an absolute unique value uh, DT01, 02, 03, etc. Um, I always set the values to something that I know I don't let ColdFusion set the IDs up to an unknown value and then each one of those divs, if you'll notice, they're all pointing to exactly the same page of code. So here's my directory, and then off on .cfm. So all three of the CF div tags you see on the page, they're all pointing to off on .cfm, and they're passing unique values to that particular template. Um, this p value is the value of the old checkbox or now it's the button that I want off on .cfm to examine. So let's go over to off on .cfm and you'll notice it's not even 55 pages uh, lines of code. So on off on .cfm I take the values that I pass over and I look at it and the first thing I do is I get the string where this particular value resides. I use the list find no case and that will return a numeric value of either zero or where it is in that string. Then if it's there the value is greater than zero I show the green dot. If it's equal to zero I show the red dot. And then each one of those dots has a ref statement which points right back to off on dot CFM and tells it what to do if it's too off I find that position in the string again and I use the list set at and I just replace the value I just take the value out of the one I want to replace and update the permissions if I'm going to the on let's collapse this so it's not in your way I do the exact opposite instead of replacing it of course I'm just going to append the value to the string so here we go open it up use the list append put it on the string and then update the person's permissions again now you don't have to use this with permissions you can be doing a math function you can be doing just about anything you want and then of course comes down looks at the permissions again does the list find no case 
and updates the red or the green dot. This particular thing can be used many, many, many times over. And it makes for a much easier user interface. It's a much intuitive way for them to work rather than check a bunch of boxes with a submit button. It's quick, it's easy, and I hope uh, you use it. And I hope you found this to be helpful. Again, that was just a quick buttons with CF Div. I'm your host, Jim Harris, of the CF Toolbox. And please, feel free to subscribe so that you can, you'll know when we got another video.